Are you prepared to handle the impending drought lander when season 4 ends? Here's a tutorial featuring the formal updos worn by both Claire and Brianna in season 4 of Outlander to hopefully ease you through the space after the finale. When I started working on this video, I quickly realized how similar these styles were, and yet how effectively little changes in them made drastic changes to how youthful or maturely elegant they are. It's a good mother-daughter juxtaposition, so let's try it out. First we'll do Claire, since this style came on screen in the first episode of the season during the dinner party with Governor Tryon. This look and the next both work best with naturally curly hair, though Claire is trying to be a bit more polished and elegant here in order to sell a ruby, so we want the curls tamed. Since I'm not naturally curly, these messy waves are from overnight curls that I then let relax most of the day. Start by parting your hair on the left side of your head and then section off panels of hair on the sides of your head, drawing vertical parts from the top of your head down to behind your ear. Clip these out of the way for now. Section off two more sections, this time as vertical panels on the back sides of your head. Also clip these sections out of the way so that just the panel of hair at the very back of your head is left hanging. Split off the top part of this hair now at your crown. Near the ends of this hair, start rolling up the section around a couple fingers. Make the roll facing forward and hold this roll to your crown while you pin it down with a few bobby pins. Make sure the rolls feel secure, but you don't need to make it super pristine. The cool part about styling curly hair is that the curliness provides lovely visual texture that both makes the style look more complicated and hides small imperfections in style construction. Next pick up the rest of the hair at the back of the head and also roll it up. This time though, make the roll facing backwards. Use a comb to brush the hair back here really smooth and pin the roll right up behind the first one. If your hair is on the thinner or shorter side, building these rolls around a bun former base or incorporating hair extensions will increase the bulk. Astute viewers will notice that season 1 Katrina Valve wore her natural hair with a perm, but in season 2 and 3 she wore hair extension pieces woven into the back of the head, and season 4 is a wig, which is why her hair now looks much thicker than before, and why her hairline is now missing her little widow's peak. With the rolls in place as the base of the updo, next release the second set of hair panels you clipped away from the back sides of your head. Replace that clip on the right panel or the one on whatever side of your head that is the major side of your side parting. With the other side panel, we now begin building up the shape of the updo to make the smooth back silhouette, as opposed to like a more distinct bun shape. Smooth it back and pin it up behind the back roll with bobby pins. Wrap any remaining tail of hair around the bun and pin in place. Now unclip the side panels of hair. On the major side of the part, split this hair into a top and bottom half. Tease the roots and the first several inches of the lower half. Then drape the section over the top back of the bun rolls. Pin it in place here and if you have any extra hair ends, coil them around a couple fingers and pin somewhere in front of the bun rolls. This will be a more defined curl accent piece for the finished look. Split the hair on the minor half of your part as well and tease the bottom half. Also drape this back over the top back of the buns and pin in place. Coil up the extra hair lengths and pin in front of the bun. Teasing can make the style look messy, and since this is Claire trying to be prim and proper, use your comb to smooth back these teased surfaces at the pinned hair sections. Then go back to the major side of your part and also tease this upper section of hair now. Loosely drape it over the back top of the bun pin in place, and coil up the remaining hair length to pin in front of the bun. Tease the last section of side hair, drape it back to the top back of the bun, and you know what to do with the ends. Make sure you're not pulling these top side sections back too tightly. If you drape them back more gently, the teasing at the roots will help you get a bigger updo look, and that subtle inverted triangle shape that we're going for. Again, use a comb and perhaps some hairspray to smooth the teased sections. Finally, we have this last little section of hair hanging from behind one ear. 
This will be what was called at the time a love tendril, a dragon, or a serpento. French names, since French fashion drove most European fashion of the time period. Though we wanted curly hair for this look, Claire's tendril has a much more pristine curl look, so really comb out and smooth this section. Then liberally coat with a fine hairspray. Next, roll up this section in a curling iron, held in a downward position like this. Use a high heat setting and hold it here for a solid 10-15 to 15 seconds to get a really strong curl. The hair should be heated through so that it's too hot to comfortably hold your hand on the outside of the hair. Then gently click open the clamp of the iron over and over to massage the curl off the barrel without unwrapping it. This will pull the ends of the hair up into the coil shape, and if they come all the way out the top, just stuff them back into the void. Hold this coil in shape until it cools and the hairspray hardens again. This will keep the stark shape of the curl in place, though be aware that there will still be some stretching out over time, like over the course of a few hours if your hair isn't naturally curly. And now you have Claire's Season 4 formal updo. This is an understated updo for the time period, and maybe that's why that one chick at dinner made the snide question about the fashion in Edinburgh. But it still communicates a mature, beautiful woman who has poise that you could only hope for and commands the attention of the room. Now we'll move on to doing Brianna's updo for the later part of the season, during the suitor party at River Run. It's structurally very similar to Claire's style, being a curly, swept back updo with a side hanging tendril of hair. But where Claire's look was controlled and smooth, Brianna's is youthful and more organic looking. Like she really couldn't care less what you think of her, but she's still just naturally very striking. Towards that end, natural curly hair will take a more active role here, so play that up if you have it. Again, start by parting your hair on the left side, and then section off two panels of hair from the side of the head and in front of the ears. Clip these out of the way for now. Split the rest of your hair in half horizontally, and in a really casual way, gather the top half of hair and bunch it up at your crown. Wiggle several U-shaped pins into the hair here to hold it. Try to aim for a broad shape to your mass of curls, but don't extend it out past the sides of your head. Also arrange the curls such that the hair is evenly distributed over your crown. Unclip the side panels of hair now, and split each in half. Without teasing this time, drape these back to the bun. Pin the lower half of one side panel of hair into the lower part of the mass of curls, bunching up and arranging the ends of this section to blend in with the rest of the curly bun. With the bottom half of the other side panel, also drape back and pin into the lower part of the curl bun. Drape the top halves of the side hair into the bun as well. Drape these gently so you don't stretch out all the curliness in them. Arrange and pin into the top half of the curl bun. Try to arrange these curls to be especially prominent in the front of the bun so that you can see all the texture there when looking at yourself straight on. You can even pull on a strategic little bits of pieces to play up the texture. Lastly, for the hair at the back of the head that's still hanging free, pull it all to the side of your head that was the major side of your part. Tie it into a side ponytail here with a ribbon. Though if you use a hair tie first before tying a ribbon over that, this will hold much better since ribbons can be pretty slippery. You can use a small curling wand at this point to freshen up the curls in the ponytail, or just let it stay more natural looking. Pull out your little baby hairs around the face to finish off the look. Thanks for watching this Outlander hair tutorial. Tell me how these styles work out for you, either over on my Facebook or Instagram pages. You can tag me in your photos and I'll take a look. Have a great day everyone, and happy styling!